guys, my name is Savannah. Today we are looking at the very first screenshot reveal of the new Grasslands Animal Pack coming to Planet Zoo. And we got this picture on Twitter. I love the way that Frontier has decided to start revealing things and that they kind of give us these little sneak peeks and then they give us the actual thing. It's just really playful, it's really fun, and I really, I really enjoy it. Instead of just releasing and saying, here you go, here it is, kind of leads us on a little bit and gives us something to look forward to. So this was kind of the first little, I think they're doing like help us find the animals. So we got this screenshot earlier this morning, of course, it being the striped hyena that is coming in the new pack. And I just love the fur detail. I think striped hyenas look a little funny of all the hyena species, um, but their top kind of back ridge fur does very much stick up like that. And so I think uh, Frontier nailed it as far as that design goes. I don't have too much more to say about this screenshot. As you can see, it's obviously just a bunch of grass with the little hyena in it. So there's not really too much more to kind of pick apart here in this one. But if we go to the next screenshot, we get the striped hyena in all of its cuteness. It's a little bit of kind of a dorky looking animal. Is that okay to say? It, it's got a weird look to it, but I love it. And that's how it's meant to look because hyenas just in general are weird looking animals anyway, um, but the striped hyena being one of the weirder ones in my opinion. So we do, we get the animal right there in front of us. The fur detailing as always, Frontier knocks it out of the park with their detailing on their animal model. So I think it looks great. I actually think this guy's face has a very cute look to it and I love the ears uh, as naked as they are. They don't have much fur on them. And then the patterning, of course, is beautiful and very accurate. Now, the rest of the screenshot, and when we get these screenshot reveals, I always find myself not knowing as much about what's in the game as I thought I did. That grass to the back right of the hyena, that looks new to me. Of course, all of the rocks, I do see what I think are some of the uh, aquatic rocks and then some of the grassland rocks. They have that kind of orangey tone to them. Um, but I think, I think that grass to the back right is new. Again, every time we get these screenshot reveals or a new pack, I always find myself not knowing what is already in the game and second guessing myself. Additionally, it looks like we get that same kind of grass just to the left of the hyena's face, left and right below it, with like little purple tips on the top of it. There is more of it in the wallaby screenshot, which that video will be coming out very shortly after this one. So if you want to watch them both, keep an eye out for that. But I think that one is new as well. But enough about plants and grasses. Let's go ahead and read just a little bit about the striped hyena so you can get an idea about uh, about them and maybe start planning some ideas for habitats. Hyenas are actually not members of dog or cat families. Instead, they are a unique family all their own called hyena day. There are four members of the Hyena Day family, including the striped hyena, the giggly spotted hyena, that is the most well-known one, the brown hyena, and the aardwolf, although the aardwolf is not a wolf, it is a hyena, and they play an important role in their native habitats, and that is the cleanup crew. Striped hyenas are a bit smaller than spotted and brown hyenas, and are the least studied. They have a broad head with dark eyes, a thick muzzle, and a large, and large, excuse me, pointed ears. Their muzzle, ears, and throat are entirely black, but their coat may be golden yellow, brown, or gray, with black stripes on the body or legs. So that will be interesting. I do hope, as always, with all of the animals, that we get some color variants to these guys, so maybe a yellow, a brown, and a gray version. I would guess this one may be gray, maybe yellow, if I had to guess. It doesn't really necessarily look brown to me. But again, I could be wrong. This is totally speculation. 
but I do hope we get to see some slight color variants uh, in the game when we actually get our hands on it. A mane of long hair grows along the back. The stealthy hyena camouflages well in the tall, dry grass. And we kind of saw that with the, here, let's go back to it real quick. This first screenshot, you can see that they do camouflage very, very well with the tall grass. They have kind of the same coloration and the, the fur sticking up on the back kind of looks like blades of grass. So they do camouflage really, really well. But of course, the most striking feature on the hyena is the legs. The front legs are much longer than the hind legs. This gives hyena their distinctive walk, making them seem like they're always limping uphill. Yet hyenas are actually agile and can run, trot, and walk with ease. Native to Northern Africa, the Middle East, and India, striped hyenas fill out a part of the habitat that is too difficult to live in for other large predators meaning that they kind of take up the semi-deserts, rocky scrublands, and savannas of those different regions. They avoid true deserts and must have a water source within about six miles of where they're going to call home. Making sure privacy is respected, hyenas set mark the edges of their territory. With sharp visions, acute hearing due to those really big ears, and a keen sense of smell, hyenas patrol their territory nightly. Hyenas have a large head and strong jaws filled with huge teeth used to crush bone. Their powerful jaws and strong teeth are a sign of their carnivorous diet. Although they are mostly scavengers, hyenas are also skilled hunters and able to take down relatively large prey. Some striped hyenas even prey on sheep, goats, donkeys, and horses, and that is likely where they are going to run into trouble with people, I'm imagining, because any time uh, predators get in the middle of agricultural land or mess with farmers' animals, they tend to run into a little bit of trouble because the farmers don't like that so much. So I imagine that is one of their threats in their areas that they're in. When foraging, striped hyenas move in a zigzag pattern at a slow trot. Striped hyenas were once thought to be solitary, but recent studies have shown that in some areas, striped hyenas live in small groups of one female and several males, primarily nocturnal or crepuscular. So nocturnal being active at night, crepuscular being active in the uh, dawn and dusk hours. They rest out of sight during the day in a natural cave or burrow dug into the hillside. Hyenas have even been known to take over the dens of other wildlife. The striped hyena's social structure may provide some advantage to protecting food sources and in defending against enemies such as lions, tigers, leopards, and even spotted hyenas. Their greatest threat, however, comes from humans. Often striped hyenas are hit by vehicles while eating roadkill. Yeah, see, so when they overlap with people, that is going to be their problem area. But this gives you a little bit of an idea. Um, I hope that this is reflected. I will be curious to see actually if it's reflected in their social dynamic. You know, it says here one female and several males, which is going to be much different than a lot of other animals that we have in Planet Zoo. So is their Zoopedia going to reflect that? Are we going to need to have female run groups of hyenas in our habitats to keep them happy. Um, so that'll be something that I will uh, be looking for as soon as we get in the game and we can read their Zoopedia. The last thing that we're going to talk about very quickly is, of course, conservation, because I do try to include that as much as I possibly can. I feel it's very important. The striped hyena is not considered very aggressive and usually avoids contact with other wildlife. Misunderstood and viewed as dangerous or destructive, they are poisoned, trapped, or shot for supposedly preying on livestock or raiding farms. Yeah, see, this is what we were guessing at before, unfortunately. As populations of other large carnivores decline, so does the food that they leave behind that the striped hyenas scavenge. Some people even mistakenly believe the hyena's body parts can be used for medicine for humans. 
Once numerous, the striped hyena population is dwindling and has disappeared from some areas altogether. Yet, we have so much to learn from hyenas. For example, they seem to be immune to certain diseases such as rabies and anthrax. By studying their immune system, we might find cures that we can use uh, for us, for humans. So a very interesting, very cool animal, not one that I was expecting to come in the grasslands pack, but I am very pleasantly surprised. Um, again, them being kind of their own group, their own family group, not dogs, not cats. We already have another hyena in the game and now having the striped hyena is great. So we can kind of better create, if you wanted to create like areas and, and dual habitats, I guess, to have different species. I always kind of love that having different species, but very, very similar um, or subspecies, I guess, of different animals is very cool to kind of round out your zoo uh, overall. So yeah, let me know what you think of the striped hyena if you're excited. And as always, if I missed any important information about the striped hyena or you have comments on the information that we talked about today, leave those down below. I would love to chat with you. I am always down for some cool animal facts. So please do leave those in the comment section. If you made it this far, if you're excited about the new DLC coming on December 13th, leave a like on the video. It really does help me out and I greatly do appreciate it. You can follow me on all my other social medias and of course hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.